Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland and in this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with non-parametric statistics uh, we're going to concentrate on what's known as the Wilcoxon signed rank test uh, which is a dependent samples test so a situation where your experimental design has a before and an after uh, where the measurements are made on the same object uh, the same participant the same person okay uh, so there's, uh, there's a dependence between the before and the after measures uh, <coughs> I suppose this is equivalent to the dependent samples t-test uh, but is used when I suppose the assumptions associated with the t-test are violated which I have a video on uh, which maybe uh, I'll point you point you towards or maybe you can go and actually have a look at that video yeah, which is the assumptions associated with t-tests and ANOVAs and so on and so forth uh, so in this particular uh, <coughs> this particular thing we're looking at the Wilcoxon sign rank test and just to motivate this particular example let's say that we had a number of students um, <coughs> We measured them on a math score before and after some sort of intervention. And let's say the first student scored 40% before. The next, uh, then they scored, uh, let's say, 50% after. Let's say the next student scored 62% before. And let's say they scored 63 after. The next one scored, let's say, <coughs> 47 before. And they scored 42 after. Uh, the next one scored 55 and they scored the no change there 55 the next one let's say scored uh, let's say 60 68 and then they scored a 74 the next one scored let's say <coughs> let's say a 72 and then they scored a 60 let's say a 63 uh, for argument's sake okay so we have a set of scores they're paired they're measured on each individual and what we want to know, I suppose, is, is there a difference between the before and after uh, uh, measures on these indiv individuals? And in other words, is there evidence to suggest that the difference between the before and after is different to zero? Uh, and we're just assuming that we're violating the assumptions of a, of a paired or dependent samples t-test. Okay? So what do we have to do here? Well, in this particular instance, I suppose, what we need to do is we need to, we need to rank the data. But first of all, what we need to do is we need to actually, I suppose, the test statistic that's going to be important for us, the test statistic okay and uh, we'll call it t the wilcoxon uh, signed rank uh, test it's called t it's basically equal to the minimum uh, of the sum of the positive ranks uh, compared to the sum of the negative ranks so because what we're going to do is we're going to get the differences between the before and the after so let's maybe just do another column here so we're going to calculate the distances and uh, the differences between the before and the after so let's say here's our differences uh, so it's usually today minus yesterday so it's 50 minus 40 gives us 10 it's 63 minus 60 63 minus 62 gives us 1 these are all positive 42 minus 47 gives us minus 5 there's a negative 55 minus 55 gives us a 0 74 minus 68 gives us a 6 63 minus 72 uh, is going to give us a value of uh, what we've got there that gives us a value of nine okay or of minus nine okay so these are our differences here and what we need to what we need to realize is that for these differences that we have I suppose that we have a particular sign associated with them particular differences there's a sign okay and you can see that this is positive this is positive this is negative and uh, this is neither positive nor negative this is positive and this is negative here this is a zero this is a zero and because there's no difference here we're actually going to exclude the zeros uh, in the calculation of this test statistic so now what we do is we look at the absolute values the the absolute values of the differences and we rank them okay and we rank them okay so uh, for example the smallest absolute value that we have uh, of the difference is excluding zero uh, is one okay so we put one down and that's associated with the positive group okay and uh, the next smallest value that we have uh, the absolute value is minus five so we have minus five here okay that's associated with the negative group the next smallest value that we have is a six that's associated with a positive group and uh, then the next smallest value is a minus nine that's associated with a negative group and the next smallest value <coughs> excuse me is a 10 and that's associated with a positive group so now what we have is we have ranks associated with these values so we have now a set of ranks so let's let's just put our ranks down here okay so you can actually see that uh, we can we order these from smallest to largest so this is ranked so here's the ranks 
this is one two three four and five and there's no ties in the values in the absolute values in the absolute values well i suppose the absolute values would be you throw away the throw away the negative values here yes so there and uh, negatives become positive and positive stay positive so you can see a one uh, is ranked at position one there we go put that in there a minus five is ranked at position two so that's two a six is ranked at position three that's a three a minus nine is ranked at position four and the 10 is ranked at position 5 and we're going to exclude we exclude we exclude the zeros so now what we're going to calculate is the sum of the positive ranks and you can see the sum of the positive ranks well this is positive 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 so there's a 5 plus a 1 plus a 3 which gives us the sum of the positive ranks is equal to 5 and 1 is 6 and 3 gives us 9 and then the negative ranks the sum of the negative ranks uh, is equal to well there's a negative rank here so, so there's a negative sign here so that's it's a, the rank is a two plus the negative here the rank is a four which now gives us uh, gives us a six and the test statistic the t is the minimum uh, of the positive ranks uh, compared to the negative rank so it's the minimum of, of nine and six which gives a test statistic equal to six